Hi friends, now we're going to talk about a new transaction code which is like workflow administration on steroids <coughs> that SAP has released for the cloud version as well as the on-premise version. So this is the transaction code SWI underscore ADM underscore cloud. Okay. So now if you execute it, you can see it has clubbed a bunch of other workflow transaction in one transaction like you had restart workflows which was a different transaction cancel workflow was different forward dialogue item was different like we had SWIA, SWI2 underscore FREQ and all those things now here also they have given scenarios for cloud platform okay in this system I don't have the cloud but I will just show on the on-premise okay so here suppose I want to see restart workflows and I'll just execute and here I can see this once I can restart okay so if I just click on this I don't know what this will op do open request basically it will probably open the workflow log or something it's churning okay um, so this is the open request and then we have the process view and the completed request I think this is mostly on the cloud side where we can get you know those wonderful graphics and all those things so basically it stores now it shows something uh, which basically is nothing so it didn't show zero entries were found so basically it gives the request so this this doesn't really is helpful for the open request now if i select the process view let's see the process view one entries were found it didn't give anything so here this is the process if i change it to the task it will change okay not much <clears throat> we had and if i do this that will complete which i don't want to do now now here suppose i want to select cancel workflows okay if i select this and let's see <coughs> so we have this cancel workflows so let me pick one just to show whether we can cancel it so let's see error purchase order not created okay so what i can do with one button i can click on cancel and let's see whether it does do you want to cancel the workflow if i click yes boom it's gone the workflow has been cancelled okay and if you want to see the cancelled workflow okay we can probably see it in the other transaction but here it's cleaned up okay so in this way you can cancel very easily now forward dialog work item this is something where you have to give the user id if i give the user id now and i execute i'll get all the items that are in this person's inbox and from here you can forward it to another person so in this way you can do so so basically in the cloud cloud version you don't need so many different options so they have clubbed it into one transaction code that you can use in uh, S4 on-premise as well as on public cloud. So this is very important. The transaction code, I will just again reiterate. It's, I'm going to system status and the T code is this, SWI underscore ADM underscore cloud. 